Day first, you guys have Ryan Pepio uh, starting today. What led to that decision of giving him the start? Um, I, I think the, the driver was looking at a lot of our starters going on regular multiple times. So to kind of drop him in um, gives everyone an extra, everyone extra, extra day. Uh, he's been throwing the baseball well, so um, have him going today, then we'll have Mitch going tomorrow. Do you have a roster move for him? So, uh, you know, there's a, right now, Kimbrel is uh, getting a CT scan, and just to kind of see if that ball off the bat of Cronenworth there was nothing that showed up on the x-ray, but if there's something that potentially could show up on the CT, so uh, he's there right now. And uh, so that potentially could be a move. Uh, if not, it'll be a relief pitcher out on option. How was Chris Taylor's CT scan? Um, so right now, I don't know the results right now. I, I think that uh, they're coming up, but I know it's going to be a couple days for sure, uh, if not more right now. Just kind of on the... Uh, training staff, putting hands on him, walking around, and so it, it doesn't look great. How much concern is there that he be Niles? Um, I wouldn't say, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's certainly a possibility. Um, so we'll backdate whatever we can, but that's certainly a possibility, but not uh, inevitable. What prompted the CT scan of Kimbo? That he was he just not feeling as good today? I think just for us, uh, our medical staff speaking for them, it was more of uh, he felt good yesterday in catch play, um, but with the MR, with the X-ray, uh, everything can't be detected. So I think for us to just you know check every box and uh, make sure that nothing shows up on the scan, just so we can make sure that we're free and clear. Haney through a bullpen session today. Do you know how that went and what's the timetable for his return? Um, I haven't talked to him since. I saw it. Uh, the ball was coming out well. Um, it was fastball slider. I think it was right around 30 pitches. Um, as far as the next progression, certainly there's another bullpen. There's uh, facing hitters and then we'll talk about potentially starting. So um, I think he's still a ways down the road. With the rotation after Mitch, is it going to be the same sequence as the last five days, or will anybody? Finish? It will, just kind of pushing everybody back a day, yeah. Dave, with Heaney, this was originally, you know, he'll miss one or two starts, and now we're looking at he's going to miss It was four. more two or three. <laughs> it was more two or three. Yeah, then three or four. Then, then potentially three or four, that's right. So, yeah. Now it sounds more like four or five. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that you can kind of. You have guys asking questions, so you're trying to give them what you know at the at that moment in time, and uh, things happen where you know you have to slow play it, and you got to get him through the progression. If he doesn't feel great, then you got to kick the can. And so I think that right now, yeah, out on the outset, it was we were hoping it'd be three three starts he misses, and but uh, you know obviously it doesn't work. That way. We're looking at rehab assignment. Absolutely, now? yeah. Is it hard for Dave Roberts to? Uh, gauge the level of pain tolerance that players have as far as thresholds? Is that part of uh, this too? Yeah, it is. I mean, I think that you can talk about Chris Taylor and, and say that he could be back in two days, but that might not be the case. So um, it, it's kind of netting it all out, having conversation with players, trusting them, but also respecting the fact that they definitely want to be in there. Uh, and sometimes, you know, with pitchers especially, you want to uh, keep them from themselves. So we've got a great medical staff, and that's I rely on them a lot, actually. Is Blake off the mound yet? Blake was off the mound yesterday, and uh, it was pretty dang good. Um, I think it was it was it was actually it was fastball, cutter, slider, and so I think it was around 30 pitches. So today he just played catch. Um, so that's ahead of where initially I thought he was as far as getting off the mound. So that was really encouraging. Can we flesh out a timeline now? No, there's no <laughs> timelines, Bill. <laughs> what does that mean, Dave, as far as him doing what he did yesterday, as far as where he's at? And I, I, think, I think with Blake, he's just so valuable to our ball club. So um, I just think that we feel like we have one bullet to get him back and do it right. Mm -hmm. So to be prudent and take our time with it, um, I just don't see it how it's before August, you know, uh, uh, the floor. So that's that's all I'll give that's you. That's kind of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist. <laughs> it's better than stretch run. What's that? It's better than stretch run. It's more specific than stretch run. Yeah, I, I need to start dropping the stretch run more to build. <laughs>
Spectrum is very ill-defined. That that's right. Knowledge. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Dave, with uh, Pepio tonight, he seemed to have struggled with this fastball command. Do you feel like that's the key to his success tonight and maybe saving your bullpen? Um, it is. So with Ryan, um, he's a young pitcher who has really big stuff. Um, it's fastball with a plus changeup, and there's a slider in there. This is a heavy right-handed lineup team, uh, so the slider is certainly going to have to be in play. Um, and I think the reason I say that with Ryan in particular as far as the fastball uh, being effective is the changeup comes out of the same lane. So if he can't command the fastball, um, then for the most part the changeup is not going to be commanded as well. So the changeup has got to be on plate and uh, the fastballs for the fastball and everything to be effective. Is it more about like his how he attacks hitters or is it sort of like he just can't hasn't consistently located where he's already attacked? It's more of, I think with Ryan in particular, it's adrenaline, emotions, um, and that's leading to the mechanics part. So the intent is, is, is there, um, but when you start baking in adrenaline, there's an arm side miss. So that's what's been consistent with him. So if he can kind of temper the emotions um, and let his arm get out front, his hand get out front, it's going to be really good. Since we're on a roll with timelines, you got anything more specific about Dustin May? When is he going to start his rehab assignment? I don't know. I don't know, Bill. Um, it's got to be imminent, though, right? It is imminent. Um, he's been throwing to hitters. Um, so it, it's uh, it's moving in the right direction. It is imminent. Uh, I don't know uh, when that is. Uh, I'll use imminent. Yeah. Uh, imminent's a good word. Good word. <laughs> Stretch run. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's better. He's a wordsmith.